everyone welcome again in this demo on this uh, demonstration i'm going to show you demo of a saloon booking system project in spring boot so i'm going to close my current browser and so on it is running yeah okay so it's using spring boot as a back end for the front end it's using jsp html css bootstrap it's a maven project and it's using a spring boot following complete mbc architecture uh, to store the information, the backend information is using MySQL uh, database. So we have the MySQL database over here. So let's quickly. Okay, this is saloon booking. So here we have a <coughs> MySQL database and which have a table appointment, card, employees, order, payment, product, service, and user. So let's run the project and check the features and functionalities how it's working. Also, uh, if you already take on this project from code one, or if you want to take it, just check the link in the description box. You can directly connect us over the WhatsApp, Skype, or mail, and don't worry about the configuration. After the <coughs> once you will buy the project and we'll do the setup. You you case in in case if you face any issue. We will do the remote configuration from our side from any disk or zoom and after that make sure the project is working fine and then you have to follow this step in order to run the application <clears throat> the first step this is your running file runner file for a spring boot so right click on it go to run as run it as a java application from your eclipse and in some time it will start the server and give you a specific port number on which the server is running so after that what you need to do you need to go to into this resources folder you can see the console is also processing uh, in the statements also processing in the console and you will see here the tomcat is started on at zero double eight and after that you need to go into this application or property file here we have created one dummy uh, url so you can just copy this url i'm going to copy this url and open your browser enter it over your browser when you hit the enter you will see the application will launched and uh, now this will be your home page so it's kind of saloon booking uh, for the services and product so if i check the user table here there are three types of users admin user and employee i will show you how can you when you have login over there by admin um, next employees and the user as a customer so first let's log in as an admin and see uh, we have about us page contact us page over there and sign up okay from here the new user can sign up and the login so login will be common for the, all the users but there will be different options after login okay so <clears throat> the here after login as an admin this is men section and women section from here you can add a new employees we can check the list of employees user list will be there so uh, already the user this is going to register from the registration page so it will display over there under the user list you will see the user list and from here you can add a new employee as well our admin can add a new employee and here we have important uh, module of the application add services for the saloon so let's say i'm going to add a new service so i say i need to say new service shop name i need to select an image i'm adding a dummy images you can add a meaningful images uh, so uh, <clears throat> select type this is for men or women so i, I, I just say let's say it's for men's and when i hit the save button and i check the my service list this will display me here as a new service i can edit it i can delete it as admin another thing we have add product under any any service so let's say under this new service i'm going to add a new product and the product price is nine triple nine okay that's it and if i choose image here for the product so i can choose any image when i hit the save button and go to the product list i will check all the product will display over here and under the order section i can check all the list orders in the point uh, payment list that is done by the users also view appointments is there i can confirm cancel delete of the appointments i can cancel by click on this yellow icon and i can confirm it by just click on this green icon and delete them apart from that we have a uh, admin site like my profile section change password and log out now let's log in as a employee and see what employee can do over there so simply our employee first let's log in as a user so you will understand how what the user can do so first i'm going to sign up as a new user so i just enter some dummy data over there 
and let's see I'm gonna add a detail okay that's it I just hit the save button user registration is done when I refresh my table you can see the new record is there as a user so I'm going to log in with this user here so this is the username and this is the password I just hit the sign in button so now uh, as a user under the home page we have a two option for to book the service for men's for the women so let's say I'm gonna uh, book a service for a man and this is the new service that is we just created uh, that it's displaying here I can book this service and I can select the product under this service so we have one product under this service so I select this product and now it's showing the list of employees okay the services is selected is this the product is selected this and now these are the employee uh, this is working on the saloon so we have to take appointment one of them so let's suppose I want to take appointment from this employee so take appointment also I just select the date from time and to time let's say I'm gonna say till 3 p.m. I just click the save and now it will redirect me over the payment page so I just need to card uh, enter the card details and let's see nine CVV one two three <coughs> payment so payment is done now if I check my appointment list I have one appointment booked and between this time and the payment will display here the paid and uh, for this appointment the currently is booked and Bucky uh, apart from that the admin can update this status as well and uh, the admin can check the status of all the users but the user will not and also I'm going to uh, uh, we have my profile change password and logout also now let's log in with this uh, employee now and check what that employee can do after that I will explain you the scheduler that we are using in this project so that will automatically update the status while time is reached on a particular time booking time so here as an employee I logged in as an employee now and you can say this is employee an employee can check uh, the, this, this, this booking detail so this is an employee let's say I want to confirm it I can uh, confirm this so it's right now showing confirm or I can cancel it according to my ability so as an employee I'm going to confirm it and also this uh, like currently showing available because the time is reached on that particular time like like like, like this booking was till 10 uh, 37 p.m. Uh, after that it will display available so after 3 40 for 48 it will automatically convert into the um, available so its status will be automatic updated we are using some kind of cellular so it will create the data from the database match the booking time and automatically execute uh, the um, queries and update the uh, status over there so that's it about the saloon booking project in spring boot in java if you need the source code please connect with us also if you are looking for someone who can explain you the internal code architecture that good one is definitely will be there our team will be there to help you and obviously these things are paid so you have to pay some minimum charges that we can afford so just 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 ping over the whatsapp or the mail and connect with us thank you